Good evening everybody, today we're going to talk about how to set a proper exposure on a portrait. Now, there's always a problem with matrix metering with your camera system. You always have an issue when you have to work fast, like you're doing a wedding report or you're working on the field and you don't have time to get the light meter out or you just forgot the fucking light meter at home. So what do we do then? Lucky for us, a very great and well-known photographer named Ansel Adams made up the zone system. He used all his years of experience to identify which parts of an image require more or less exposure depending on the type of scene and, and according to correct exposure. So, for us, for portrait, it's very easy. We only need to take care of the skin. For Caucasian skin, a correct exposure is at medium gray plus one stop. Now, here we have a uh, portrait with a translucent reflector on the right, which acts like a softbox because there is direct sunlight hitting it. It's very close to the face of this little girl. So this part of the face is very clear, very uh, bright, and this part is a dark shadow. Now, which part of the face needs to be now medium gray plus one stop? Well, it's very easy, if you know it, and I'm going to share this knowledge with you today. You choose a piece of skin underneath the eye that is lit by the key light that's in the highlight. So not the shadow eye, but the uh, exposed eye close to the key light would be this eye. You take a sample reading and you use your histogram. The middle is medium gray. For Caucasian skin, we want medium gray plus one stop, which would be this line move over to our image now right underneath the eye of this little girl we have a little dark area which will need to be corrected later so we'll go to take a sample below that so on the little piece of cheek just at the same distance of this eye related to that light source so right under the eye this piece of cheek we can see on our uh, histogram that we have half a stop or even third stop Exposed. So let's say 0 0.4. Let's cut the cake in half. Going to my exposure correction, make this 0 0.4. And ta-da! When I go over now with my little hand here, we have a good exposure. If I zoom out, I now have a properly exposed picture which I can continue to develop further on from here on. So first things first correct exposure, correct white balance, and then you can do all the rest of your development. Now this was for Caucasian skin. What about black skin? Well, depending on how dark the black skin is, it can vary from medium gray to medium gray plus half a stop. So very, very dark people really, really like Nigerian blacks, look like charcoal black, would be like medium gray and the more tan uh, dark skin tones would be more towards uh, medium plus half stop. So depending on the person you have on the image you can give yourself a little bit of creative liberty to play around with the exposure between these values. That would be a properly exposed picture then for a dark skin. Now this is Caucasian which is very easy it's always medium gray plus one stop. Hope you enjoyed this and just uh, make sure you google the web, look for the Ansel Adams zone system so you'll learn much more about this. It goes way 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 further than just skin tones and, and exposure on skin. You have a lot of things that are very interesting with the zone system and it allows you to confirm and cross check uh, on the remainder of the picture that your exposure is correct. So have a nice evening further on and keep reading and clicking these portraits. Bye bye.